What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 10 Sleepers and Studs. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'll go over each position for NFL Week 10 DFS research and strategy for building your lineups this week. Draft Dashboard is fully updated with every target count and rush attempt, so we've been using the position optimizer throughout the week to identify some of the top DFS plays for NFL, DraftKings, and FanDuel. And if you stay to the very end after all my picks and after I show you the Draft Dashboard tools, I'll give you my super secret sleeper pick that no one's talking about. Okay, my quarterback stud for week 10 is going to be Jameis Winston from the Tampa Bay Bucks playing the Arizona Cardinals who have the absolute worst defense overall and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Jameis Winston has averaged 21.9 fantasy points per game on the season. He's getting about 3.5 rush attempts per game. He's going to be about 13% owned projected at 24.7 fantasy points here in week 10. He's 6,800 DraftKings salary and 1,100 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 52.5 points scored in this game and they have the Tampa Bay Bucks favored by four and a half. This is a home game, a fantastic matchup. So I like Jameis Winston here versus the Arizona Cardinals. Okay, my week 10 quarterback sleeper pick is going to be Matt Ryan from the Atlanta Falcons playing the New Orleans Saints, who have a pretty good defense overall, but they give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Matt Ryan has averaged 24.2 fantasy points per game on the season. He's only going to be about 2% owned. Projected at 18.6 fantasy points here in week 10. He's 6,100 DraftKings salary and 1,400 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 51 points scored in this game. And they have the Atlanta Falcons trailing by 14. So that means a passing game script for Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. It's a good matchup. So I like Matt Ryan here versus the New Orleans Saints. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, my week 10 running back stud is going to be Christian McCaffrey from the Carolina Panthers playing the Green Bay Packers, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Christian McCaffrey is averaging 32.7 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 41 fantasy points last week off of 24 rush attempts and three pass targets. He's averaging 20.6 rush attempts per game on the season and 6.5 pass targets. He's going to be about 13% owned on the field for 93% of the snaps, projected at 25.1 fantasy points here in week 10. He's 10,500 DraftKings salary and the same price on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 47 points scored in this game and they have the Panthers trailing by five. So I like Christian McCaffrey here versus the Green Bay Packers. Okay, my week 10 running back sleeper pick is going to be Jalen Samuels from the Pittsburgh Steelers playing the LA Rams, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the 14th most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Jalen Samuels has averaged 8.8 .8 fantasy points per game on the season, but he's going to be the starting running back because of the injury to James Conner. He's priced up now 
so he's only going to be about 1% owned. But he scored 20 fantasy points last week off of 8 rush attempts and 13 pass targets. He's projected at 13.6 fantasy points here in week 10. He's 6,300 DraftKings salary and 100 less on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 44 points scored in this game, and they have the Pittsburgh Steelers trailing by 3.5. This is a home game, so I like Jalen Samuels here versus the LA Rams. Okay guys, if you're getting any value from this video, please hit that red subscribe button. We put out new fantasy football videos every day. So if you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification, you won't miss out on any of our new fantasy football videos. Tons of free stuff coming your way. It only takes a second and it helps us push out more fantasy football content for you guys to consume each and every day. It's because of you subscribers that make this possible. So thank you for supporting this channel. Okay, my week 10 wide receiver stud is going to be Mike Evans from the Tampa Bay Bucks playing the Arizona Cardinals, who have the worst defense overall, and they give up the ninth most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Mike Evans has averaged 23.4 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 39 fantasy points last game off of 16 pass targets. He's averaging 10.4 pass targets per game, and he's going to be about 17% owned on the field for 90% of the snaps, projected at 19.7 fantasy points here in week 10. He's 7,600 DraftKings salary and 1,000 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 52.5 points scored in this game. They have the Bucks favored by four and a half. This is a home game. Mike Evans has been on fire, so I like Mike Evans here versus the Arizona Cardinals. Okay, my wide receiver sleeper pick for week 10 is going to be Auden Tate from the Cincinnati Bengals playing the Baltimore Ravens, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the 13th most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Auden Tate has averaged 10.2 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 7.7 .7 pass targets per game. He's only going to be about 2% owned on the field for 97% of the snaps, projected at 9.6 fantasy points here in week 10. He's only 4,000 DraftKings salary and 1,300 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 44 points scored in this game, and they have the Bengals trailing by 10.5. This is a home game and a passing game script, so I like Auden Tate here versus the Baltimore Ravens. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL and you can try the tools for NBA. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, my week 10 tight end stud is going to be Travis Kelsey from the Kansas City Chiefs playing the Tennessee Titans. We've got a pretty good defense overall but they give up the 14th most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. Travis Kelsey has averaged 14.5 fantasy points per game on the season, getting about 8.2 pass targets per game. He's going to be about 14% owned on the field for 91% of the snaps, projected at 15.5 fantasy points here in Week 10. He's 6,400 DraftKings salary, and 300 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 48 points scored in this game, and they have the Kansas City Chiefs favored by 6.5. They should get Patrick Mahomes back, so that's going to help the cause for Travis Kelsey. So I like Travis Kelsey 
here versus the Tennessee Titans. Okay, my week 10 sleeper pick at the tight end position is going to be Jimmy Graham from the Green Bay Packers playing the Carolina Panthers. We've got a middle of the pack defense overall, and although they've been pretty good versus tight ends, Jimmy Graham has averaged 7.6 fantasy points per game on the season, getting 4.1 pass targets per game. He's only going to be about 1% owned on the field for 64% of the snaps, projected at 7.3 fantasy points here in week 10. He's only 4,000 DraftKings salary and 1,800 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 47 points scored in this game, and they have the Green Bay Packers favored by five. This is a home game, so I like Jimmy Graham here versus the Carolina Panthers. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. You've unlocked the bonus content. My super secret sleeper pick for NFL Week 10 is going to be Juju Smith-Schuster from the Pittsburgh Steelers playing the LA Rams who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they've been pretty good against opposing wide receivers. Juju Smith-Schuster has averaged 12.4 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 6.5 pass targets per game. He's only going to be about 1% owned on the field for 83% of the snaps projected at 13.9 fantasy points here in week 10. He's 5,800 DraftKings salary and 100 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 44 points scored in this game and they have the Steelers trailing by three and a half. This is a home game and this guy's got 20 plus point upside at a great price and low ownership. So I like Juju Smith-Schuster here versus the LA Rams. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck. Do you want more fantasy football picks? Check out the video linked right in the middle of the screen. If you got any value from this video, please tap that subscribe button before you get out of here and ring that bell notification so you won't miss our daily fantasy football uploads. We're putting out new videos every day, so I don't want you guys to miss any of our free content.